I'm CM Coleman, and welcome to my life on YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you some behind the scenes of the setup of my kitchen studio. Now, what's important to remember about this is it really is a working kitchen. And a lot of times, everybody thinks that it's just a simple matter of flipping a switch, putting up your camera, and going. Well, if you check out my other social media, like Instagram or those sort of things, you will see pictures of me in my kitchen in daylight we are talking i think it was 11 o'clock during the day and you can check those out at cm coleman home and the link's down in the description and it was daylight and my kitchen looked like a cave i mean an actual cave it is super super dark and the positioning of the lights in my kitchen also make it a little more difficult because the where where the kitchen light overhead light is positioned I actually it would be behind me. You can also check out my video for when my lighting. And I talk about this some. But I really want you to see what goes up to setting up this whole, you know, thing. Now I will not make you go through all 17 minutes of it. So I speeded it up or sped it up, sped it up so that it'll go much much faster and I'll give you some narration through this. So let's go and take a look. And here I am speeding through, getting everything done. You'll notice that my dining room is set up, and you can see my dog, and my mom just came in. And I'm moving everything from the table, because the table I actually use to put up my camera. Then I have my first light, which came in a kit. If you notice down and below, you will see links to my lights and my whole system, my whole setup. And I have three lights that I use, including, I should say, I also use the dining room light, which those have daylight light bulbs in. Now I'm setting up my top camera, bringing up the uh, table side so that it can stay up there. Then I am moving and putting in my side decorations for that day. And I am now getting decorations to put up, but those are things that which we will see in the pictures. And there's my mixer, mixer going out. And we have everything just about all set up. That's it. My monitor's on, and that's all there is. So that was it. That's all there was to setting up my kitchen studio. Now let's take a look at the uh, picture of what the studio looks like from the camera's view. And you'll notice that you see the lovely little decorations, and what you don't see, and once again I want to stress, take a look back at the lighting episode, and you can see what kind of lights I actually do use, because the kitchen lights play a big port important part in that. But you could see all of those versus the lights which you now see I have set up in front of me. And if it weren't for the fact that I live in a cave, yeah, my kitchen's a cave, I wouldn't need all that light. They say that all you really need is just light from your uh, from a big window. And that is true. I have actually done videos where I've just sat in front of my window. But for my cooking, I do need the extra light. You do not have to have that extra light to do your videos. It just helps, it just evens things out, and it keeps me from having really dark areas. But that's the setup. It's really simple, really easy, and you did notice that I had a monitor there, so yes, I can see myself, because I have a tendency to do a lot of this, and a lot of this, and I can look into the monitor and say, hey, I should be, I should be centered up more, or sort of like that. And one of the things which you'll notice is that you guys, you get more used to being on camera, you'll get used to looking into the lens, which is what I'm doing right now, versus looking into the monitor, which is what I'm doing now. The lens is who you're talking to, so you're going to get used to that. But it's that's for a whole other day. There are so many things which go into making a video, but you do not have to have any of that. If you're wondering what it all is, it is down in the descriptions, but all you really need is just a camera and the will to do it. So try it. Now you've seen my setup. So are you ready to make your own videos? If you are, if you have some questions, let me know. Remember, you can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday, it's something different. And on Saturday, it's always my life on YouTube. And we're going to get into some really interesting one com ones coming up because we're going to talk about social media and how that plays into YouTube. And also, we're going to talk about what job descriptions YouTube probably should have and what things I wish I would have known that I would need to know on YouTube. If you have questions, suggestions, or ideas, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share this, and remember, when you subscribe, 
you know, you can alert yourself to know when the, one of these videos come out, but they're every Saturday, and I hope you enjoy them. And as always, remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.